Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with the TK. Today you guys, we are going to make this delicious sour cream pound cake. I decided to make this video and show you guys how to make this easy, simple sour cream pound cake um, recipe that I found because I know a lot of people are looking for some recipes for the holidays and pound cake is one of the recipes that many people like to use during the holiday season, especially at Thanksgiving, um, to have on their dinner table. And this simple sour cream pound cake recipe, trust me, anybody can do it, okay? So if you guys would like to know how to make this delicious sour cream pound cake, then let's get into this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave lots of comments throughout this video. Let you guys see what this sour cream pound cake looks like on the inside. Let's cut into it. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I cut it, and this is what the slice looks like. So let's get into this video so you guys can see how to make this sour cream pound cake, okay? The first ingredient you will need to make this delicious sour cream pound cake with a delicious vanilla glaze is you will need white lily pound cake mix. It's a homemade southern classic. Okay, you will need two boxes. That's one, two. Two boxes. You will also need non-stick cooking spray. My favorite non-stick cooking spray is Baker's Joy. But use whatever type of non-stick cooking spray that you have available. You will need four eggs, okay? Four eggs. Make sure that your eggs are at room temperature. You will also need three fourths cup of, an, of oil. I'm using some vegetable oil. So you need three fourth cups of vegetable oil. You will also need one cup of sour cream one cup of sour cream to make this delicious sour cream pound cake. You will need a butt pan to bake your cake in, your pound cake. Okay, so here I have a butt pan. Use whatever butt pan of your choice. You will need a mixing bowl. Here I have a mixing bowl. It's the one that I use on my stand mixer, but guess what? It's still a mixing bowl. Also, you will need a, 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 scrape, a spatula for scraping down your cake mix, your cake batter. And you will also need a hand mixer, or you can use a whisk or a stand mixer, whichever one you prefer that you have. I'm gonna use my hand mixer. Okay, so this, um, these are the equipments that you will need to make this cake. Okay, so now you will need to take your oven and preheat it to 325 degrees. Spray your butt pan with your non-stick cooking spray. Remember I told you guys I like to use Baker's Joy. It's for baking, baking spray with flour. So you gotta coat that really, really well so that your cake batter does not stick while it's baking. And also this Baker's Joy has the flour in it so you don't have to put flour around your cake pan your bunt pan or any cake pan as if you use a cake pan. Into a mixing bowl, we are going to combine our four eggs. Our three fourth cups of oil. And 
into our sour one cup of sour cream. So place all of that into a bowl. Into your mixing bowl. you have your batter mix the next step is to take the cake batter and spoon it into your butt pan remember this is a pound cake a pound cake batter is thick okay so it's not a thin batter it's not just gonna pour in so you're just gonna spoon it in until you get all the way around your cake pan okay yeah, I don't get bad on my hands. Sorry. So just get you a spoon or use your spatula and put the batter in the cake pan. Now that we have our cake batter in our pan <clears throat> and you have smoothed it out in your pan, just shake it. And smooth it out around the top we are going to bake our sour cream vanilla pound cake for 55 to 65 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in center of the cake comes out clean okay so I'll be back between 55 and 65 minutes once our Sour cream vanilla pound cake is done. I'm going to set my timer.
to 55 minutes. Between 55 and 65 minutes. So I'll just do it for 65 minutes. And let's let our vanilla, our sour cream vanilla pound cake bake. You guys, mm, this will be a delicious recipe for your Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, everyone, so I have pulled the cake out of the oven. I am going to test it with a fork. Okay. See? It's clean. There's just a little crumb. So the cake is done, and I am going to allow this cake to cool. And once the cake cools, we are going to make the topping to go on our cake. So I'll be back after our cake cools for us to flip it over and put our topping on our cake. Okay guys, so I have flipped my sour cream pie cake over. Ooh, doesn't it look good? I told y'all. Um, I'm gonna allow this to cool for about 30 to 40 minutes and then we're going to put our vanilla icing on the top. Um, I did have just a little tear on the inside, but that's okay. It's not much, you know. But this is our sour cream pound cake, y'all. In my tasty butt pan. I'm trying to buy me another butt pan, y'all. I like this butt pan, but for some reason everything is dark. But it's not too, too bad. So I'll be back once it's cool. And then we can move on to the next step, y'all. Okay, so you get a glaze, vanilla glaze, um, icing package in each box. And this is the glaze that will be used. You see that it says vanilla pound cake glaze. So we're going to use both of these packets. And the only thing that we have to do for these packets are um, the glaze pound cake. With glaze mix, combined glaze mix, small white packets. Cake is cool, so let's get ready to go. 
Here it is, everyone, our delicious vanilla sour cream pound cake. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of um, cooking with TK. I am going to allow this to cool so the vanilla frosting can set on the pound cake before I cut it. And then I will be back so that we can cut our pound cake to see how this white lily sour cream pound cake turned out. Um, this is the box once again. We just turned it into a sour cream pound cake into a, instead of a regular pound cake mix, okay? So it's rich and it's buttery and it is a sour cream vanilla pound cake. So, um, yeah, let's see what it looks like, okay? We're going to cut into it in just a moment. Okay, everyone, so I cut it to the sour cream pound cake, and this is what it looks like. This is what how it turned out. So, I hope you guys try this recipe. Um, I tasted it. It tastes very delicious. I mean, simple. It's easy. It's affordable. And I found that pound cake mix at Walmart, y'all. So, I hope you guys try this recipe. And if you do, come back and tell me how it turned out. Thank you. 